schedule-wise, the first and second floors are a little bit ahead of our lower level. So up here, we're ready to eliminate the possibility of banding. Well, it's caused by the contrast between the papery surface of the drywall and the smooth texture of the joint compound. One way to eliminate that is to have the tapers skim coat the entire surface with a layer of joint compound and then have the painters prime it to seal it all up. But what we're doing takes those two steps and combines them in one application with an airless sprayer. It's a lot different than most paints and primers in the fact that it's a very heavy, heavy material. So you really have to take your time to put it on properly uh, and make sure you're getting a nice uniform coat. In this case, it's the painters putting on the material and it goes on so thick and smooth that it qualifies as a skim coat which will take care of any banding. Plus, it dries to the same type of finish that you would get from a coat of primer, so it's ready for finish paint. Providing a good uniform surface to put your final coat of paint on. Not every sprayer can handle a paint job like this because you need a lot of power. In fact, they say 3,000 PSI and 1.2 gallons a minute. But this one here can do both paints and textures, so power shouldn't be an issue. As for technique, we had our drywall guru, John Nelson, stop by to give us a sense of the best way to apply this material. To apply it, you're going to do it just as you normally spray um, your a primer or finish paint. And you're going to apply it once in about a 10 to 12 mil application and then you're going to let that tack up and come back and cross hatch it. The cross hatching means you're going to apply it one direction and then you're going to come back the opposite direction to just get a nice uniform coverage to get it up to the 15 to 20 mils that we recommend. Well, this is going to dry in about 60 to 90 minutes. Of course it is tintable so you could tint it to your final color if you like. Of course, if you like white, you could leave this as your final coat, which is what we might do on some of our ceilings. 